بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ورسوله على رسوله الكريم. So inshallah we're moving on to a few final discussions in this chapter in the Bab al-Awwal. So now as I mentioned to you before, we've made our own little, uh, so we have own abwab. It's not in the book but we made our own. So we've reached all the way till here. We finish al-Madi, al-Mudari, al-Amr. Then we then idgham like when you make a tie into a ta and a sa into a uh, a ta etc. Now we're discussing two more things: nunu taqid and the ismul fa'il ismul maf'ul. So regarding the nunu taqid, we're discussing that today. So before we go into the text, we need to analyze the nun taqid ourselves. What is nun taqid? Nun taqid is a nun that comes at the end of a fa'il mudari or a fa'il amr to create emphasis in the meaning. Okay. We've done that already in Nahwa. So yes? Now, there's a few things that we need to know. Which Sega, okay, how many types of noon are there? So we've only done one type of noon. Noon tawkeed as thaqila. What does thaqilun mean? Thaqilun. Heavy. So heavy means it has what? A shadda. So noon, this is, this is called thaqila. It's got a shadda, so it's heavy. And khafifa, as a sukoon, so it's light. So you have two types of nunu ta'kid or nunu tawkid. One is called nunu tawkid al thaqila, and one is called nunu ta'kid al khafifa. You have thaqila and you have khafifa. Yes? Uh, Understood? So the nun ta'kid al thaqila, and you have nunu ta'kid al khafifa. Okay? Yes? Now, uh, when you have nunu ta'kid al thaqila and nunu ta'kid al khafifa, the nun ta'kid al thaqila comes in all 14 seer. They come in all 14 seer. Yes, all 14. Nun khafifa only comes in a few of them. It doesn't come, um, it doesn't come, for example, in the jewel. So none of the jewels it comes in. And it also, it doesn't come with jam'ul mu'annaf. So basically, we can say where there's a noon, whether it's noon or not really, you couldn't say that. Sorry. Yes? The second question we have to understand is so we know noon ta'kid as thaqila. How many seerah does it come in? How many does it come in? Thaqila. All 14. And noon khafifa comes in which seerah? It comes in all except the jewel. Which are these, the jewel <coughs> and the jam'ul mu'annath. So only comes in the mufrad and jam'ul mudhakkar and the mutakallim. Yes? Are you following? Yes? Okay. Now, the next question is the noon ta'kid al khafifa always has a sukoon at the end. So that's never an issue. La yaf alan, la yaf alun, la taf alan. So it has a sukoon. The noon ta'kid al thaqila is a shadda. So shadda has a haraka. So the question then arises is what the question then arises what haraka should we give to this noon? So the rule is this noon always has a fatha except in the jewel forms. So basically in those forms which the, the jewels so basically again the jewel form and the jam'ul mu'annath where the noon Ta'kid, khafifa doesn't come. In those seerahs, the noon will have what? A kasra. So, la yaf alanna here. A jewel, la yaf alan ni. La yaf alunna, fatha fatha, la taf alan ni. The jewel will have a kasra. And the jewel, the feminine jewel, the feminine will also have a kasra. So, the noon ta'kid al thaqila, what's the default Arab of the noon ta'kid al thaqila? Also of, uh, Fatha. Except in the jewel and the feminine plural, where it will have what? Kasra. So again, noon ta'kid al khafifa has a sukoon. There's no discussion there. The default of noon ta'kid al thaqila is. Is what? Is Fatha. Except in the jewel and the jam'ul mu'annas. They will have what? Kasra. Yes? Okay? 
then we also automatically know that these seerah are only for a khas, a jewel, this two, this and these two. These are khasun bi thaqila. The, the khafifa don't occur in the jewel or the mu'annas. So there's a few things. Which seerahs have noon? Khafifa comes in all 14. Thaqil, khafifa only has everything except the jewel and the feminine plural. And the, khafi, the thaqila is default is fatha unless there's a jewel or jama' mu'annath. Or you could say if there's an alif before it. Anni, anni, nani, anni, anni. If there's an alif before it. So you can make a rule however you want, rule of thumb. So the jewel, feminine plural, or any of the seerah which have alif before it. In those seerah, you wouldn't have, you would have a kasra. And wherever there's a kasra, you wouldn't have the nunu taqid al khafifa. Are you following? Understood? Yes? Have you understood this table so far? Now we're going to explain all of what I just said in Arabic. So what do we have here? وَيَلْحَقُوا الْفَعْلَ غَيْرَ الْمَاضِي وَالْحَالِ Yes? Any fail which is not ma'adhi or which is not mudari in the present tense meaning i.e. therefore a fa'l al mudari in the future tense or an amr or a nahi which we say ghaam fa'l mudari in which tense? Future tense or an Amr or a Nahi what can they have? this is the maf'ul bihi this is the maf'ul bihi what's a fa'il? this is a fa'il so two noons of ta'kid yalhaku can join can attach to can attach or join so we say here two noon of ta'kid can join to a verb other than the mazi and hal what's the badal of noonan? Khafifatun saqinatun wa thaqilatun maftuhatun. The khafifa saqina, i.e. la yaf'alan, so it's khafifa, because it's saqina at the end. Or a noon thaqila, which is always what? Maftuh. Understood? So, at the end, we can translate it, at the end of a fail, which is not madhi or not hal, either of the two noons of ta'kid, may come, can come. Whether this noon is khafifa and sakina or thaqila and maftuha. Correct? Are you following? And you're going to add a new yes. at the end. And can you see this tamma? You're going to change that to a fatha. No, 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 no. This is the maf'ool bihi of yalhaqu. This is the maf'ool bihi. And this is the fa'il. What comes? What becomes mulhaq? What is attached? Nunani li ta'kid. Where does it attach to? The fa'la ghayr al madhi wal hal. Al fa'la ghayr al madhi wal hal. That's a maf'ul bihi of yalhaq. And the fa'il is nunani li ta'kid. Do you understand? And then the badal of nunan is khafifatun saqina and thaqila maftuha. Understood? Any other questions before we go ahead? Now this illa is mustasna from maftuha. What is this illa mustasna from? Maftuha. So this noon thaqila is always maftu except. Noon, maf, noon thaqila is what? What's noon thaqila? What state is it going to be? What, what's a haraka? Fatha. Except fima. Except in those seer. Except in those seer, yahtasu bihi, which are specific to it, meaning specific to what? To thaqila. Yes? This is Jumla Mu'tarida. Fahiya maksuratun fihi ma abadan. In those cases, it will be what? Maksur. So go back again. In here, which seer a maksus khas with thaqila? Which seer a khas with thaqila? Yes. 
So the jewel and the feminine plural are makhsus bi thaqila. Those sigha cannot have noon khafifa, correct? It can only be in the future. Yes? So therefore the rule is the noon is maftuh in all the sigha except those sigha which are specific to noon thaqila. So basically in these sigh, the noon will be what? What harakah will the noon have? Is this positive or Kasra. So the noon uh, uh, noon thaqila is always maftu except in those seer which are maqsus with the noon thaqila, which are the jewel and the feminine plural. And in those seer, they will be maqsur. The, the noon will be maqsur. So what he's saying here? So the noon is going to be maftu except in those seer which are specific for noon taqil thaqila. And he got Jumla Mu'tazah. What, what, what seerah? Which seerah are specific to Nunu Ta'kidah Thaqilah? Wa huwa fa'lul ithnayn mutlaqan. All the jewels, whether the masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. So all the jewels and jama'at wa jama'at wa fa'lu jama'atin nisa. And the jama'at mu'annas, jama'atun nisa, the, the, the group of women, ay, uh, jama'atun nisa. So if you have a jewel, masculine or feminine, or the jama'atun nisa, then these seerahs, how can you bring ta'kid? Can you bring a noon ta'kid khafifa on this? On these seerah? You can bring noon thaqila. Can you bring noon khafifa on the jewel? Can you bring noon khafifa on the jama'atun nisa? So that means that the, 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 the noon thaqila is khas for these. Only noon thaqila can be used. So whichever sigha, i.e. the jewel and the jama'atun nisa, which are specific to noon ta'kid al thaqila in those sigha, fahiyya maqsuratun fihima abadan. The noon ta'kid thaqila will have a kasra in all cases. Do you understand this ibarah and this text? Yes? Okay. Muhammad, Ahmad, Ibrahim? Yes? فَتَقُولُوا إِذْهَبَانِ لِلْإِثْنَيْنِ وَذْهَبْنَانِ لِلْنِسْوَةِ Why does the noon have a kasra here? Explain to me, Ibrahim. Okay, this is noon ta'kid. Okay. What's this awlad? What kind of noon is this? Is it noon ta'kid thaqila or khafifa? This is five. What's this Qur'an? Thaqila because it has a shadda. Now, what's the what's default Arab of thaqila usually? Why is this one Fatha. Why does this noon ta'kid thaqila have a kasra? Because this stega is specific to thaqila, i.e., can you have a noon khafifa with a uh, jewel? No, so therefore this has to have a kasra. Ji, Hamad, explain this one. Is habani? What kind of noon is it? Thaqila or khafifa? Thaqila. It is what? Thaqila. What's the error? Haraka? Is it maftuha or maksura? Yeah, it's become mabdi now. Yeah, it's become mabdi. Pardon me? You've added the la, you've added the Why is it maksur? Is that as long as? It is jama'atun nisa. Yeah. And jama'atun nisa, can you have a noon khafifa on that one? That means this seerah is khasun bil thaqila. So therefore, you have to have noon maksura. This is the way I explain it. You could have just said, hmm? Idhab. Yeah. Idhab, idhabanna, idhabani, idhabunna, idhabinna, idhabani, idhabnani. This is noon. This is this is noonun niswa pronoun here. Okay, you got it. This is this is plural and this is jewel. That's there to avoid. We'll explain. That's avoid many noons coming together. Because you will have idhabnani. They don't like three noons, three mutaharik coming together. So to create a space, they add alif, extra alif. Okay? So this is the, his way of explaining it. I would have said simply, the noon, the noon, uh, the noon khafifa is always sukoon, the noon uh, thaqila is maftu, except in jewel and jamaat and nisa. But he's put fi ma yakhtasu bihi, that makes it a bit complicated. But simply is, the noon thaqila is always maftu, except in jewel and jamaat and nisa. Understood? Yes? Right. And then your question that you were asking is asked right here. 
فَتُدْخِلُوا You will place أَدْخَلَ يُدْخِلُوا To make enter So you will say here You will place An alif After the June After the noon of Jam'ul Mu'annas So here We said here This is noonun What kind of noon is this? That's noonun niswa And you will make this alif لِتَفْصِلَ بَيْنَ النُّونَاتِ to create a space between the three noons because the noon mushaddar is really two noons so you will end up with three noons together idhhab nanni or idhhab nanna so to avoid having three noons together the Arabs put an alif in between to separate so it's really idhhabna then you add an alif and noon ta'teed khafifa thaqila do you understand? yes? so it's really idhhab and then idhhabna is mabni idh Habna, then you add a noon ta'kid thaqila, and then you to avoid three noons coming together, you add an alif. Idhabna, idhabna ni. Okay. Wala tudkhiluhum al kafif khafifa. The ithnain and the jama'at al nisa never have noon khafifa. Yes? Are you following? Yes? Why? Because explaining. لأنه يلزم التقاء الساكنين على غير هدّه. Okay. He's saying here that if we were to put noon خفيفة on the end of a jewel or the end of noon جماعة النساء, we would end up getting التقاء الساكنين. And التقاء الساكنين is two types. على غير هدّه. We'll explain that shortly. What does التقاء الساكنين mean? التقاء يلتقي وذلقي مين? To meet somebody. Laqituka, I met you. Iltaqa is to come together. To two sakin coming together. Two sakin coming together. Two sakin coming together. So when you have two sakin coming together, it can mean one of two forms. Ala haddihi or ala ghayri haddihi. Ala haddihi means within limits. Ala haddihi means what? Within limits. So if you have iltaqa us sakinain on limits, meaning within limits. This is correct. When does this happen? When the first letter, al haraful awwal haraf maddin, wa thani mudghaman. So, for example, if the first sakin, the first sakin is haraf mad, so you have dal alif. So now you have dal alif, da, dab, ba tun. Yes, it's written here. Look, dab ba tun. Look. So you have dal. Alif, Ba, Ba. So the Shadda is really two Ba's. So what do we have here? The first, so you have an Alif, Sakin, one Sakin, Ba, second Sakin. Are you following? Yes? So Dal, Alif, Sakin, Ba, Sakin, and Ba, Fataha. Everybody following me so far? So now, the first Sakin wa is Harfu Mad. You have Alif preceded by a Fatha. That's a Harfu Mad. And the second is mudram. The bar joins into another bar. So this is permissible. If you have itqa'u sakinain, where the first one is alif preceded by a fatha, wa preceded by a dhamma, or a ya preceded by a kasra. And the second word is mudram, one letter repeated. Then this is permissible. Dabatun. Come in the Quran. This is itqa'u sakinain. You have two sakin. Alif sakin is always sakin and a ba sakin. But it's ala haddi, it's within its limits. Not a problem. Or you do waqf. You say, for example, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Iltiqaw sakinain. Because really, alamina, when you do waqf, you make a sakin. So, this is not a problem. If you do waqf, then you can do iltiqaw sakinain. This is sahih. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Or, if you have a hamzatul istifham, and the next word is alif lam. Allahu khayrum amma yushrikun In these three examples, we have iltiqaw sakinin But the Arabs say, this iltiqaw sakinin is within limits We can allow this Okay? And then you have ala ghayri haddihi It's not one of these three So if you have two sakin coming together And the neither The first is neither a sakin followed by a mudram Is neither waqf or is neither hamdun istifhan followed by a mu'arraf billam then you're not allowed to have iltaqaw sakinain. Iltaqaw sakinain is only allowed in these three. And these three are called iltaqaw sakinain ala haddihi. 
having sakin two of them together within limits. If it's not in these limits, then it's out of limits. Ala ghayri haddihi, out of its limit. Not ala ghayri haddahu, ala ghayri haddihi. It is within its limit, out of its limits. When you have iltiqaw sakinain, out of limits, then you are not allowed to uh, do this. So what we're saying here, if we were to make, if we were to place a noon khafifa at the end of the jewel or at the end of the jam'at al-nisa, we would end up with what? Iltiqa'u sakinain. For example, yaf'alu. So la yaf'alan. So then what would happen here? La yaf'alan. Iltiqa'u sakinain. Ala ghayri haddihi. It is the fall within the rules. Yaf'alnan. Iltiqa'u sakinain. And it doesn't follow the rules. So then therefore, in the jewel and the jama'at and nisa, you're not allowed to have nun khafifa because you will end up with iltiqa'u sakinain. لِأَنَّهُ يَلْزَمُ إِلْتِقَاءُ سَاكِنَيْنِ أَلَا غَيْرِ هِدِّهِ أَلَا غَيْرِ هَدِّهِ Because this would necessitate يَلْزَمُ cause or necessitate This would cause or necessitate two sakin coming together beyond its scope, out of its limits Yes? فَإِنَّ الْتِقَاءَ السَّاكِنَيْنِ because iltiqa'u sakinain is only permissible إذا كان الأول حرف مد والثاني مدخمن But I mentioned the chart Because iltiqa'u sakinain is only permissible It only falls within its limits When the first letter is حرف مد And the thani is mudgham For example Dabbatun So look You have dal, alif, ba, ba, ta What do we have? Dabbatun So look, we have one sack in here, one sack in here But the first is harfu mad and the second is mudgham Merged, amalmagated with the second ba This is permissible Waladhalleen So now you have two al saqinin One is in the lam, one is in the nu and you waqf So in waqf is permissible and dhalleen is really what? Dhalleen this is permissible because it's waqf. You can do it at a time of waqf. This is also permissible because this is uh, harfu mad and this is amalgamate, amal, amalgamated, amalgamated, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's merged together, it's idgham. So you can dhalin. So this is permissible. But yaf alan and yaf alnan is not permissible because that is what? Ala ghayri haddihi. It is alif, but the second letter is not mudgham. So therefore you can't do. You can't put that. That will make it in Are you following me? Does everybody understand that? Ahmed? Muhammad? Sorry? Okay. Okay, now we'll stop here and we'll do the rest tomorrow, inshallah, next lesson, inshallah. Okay? Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. ونشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت ونستغفرك ونتوب إليك